Hey guys, thanks for checking out this video. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you a game I just played uh, uh, yesterday. And um, there's just a bunch of fun stuff kind of happens in this game. It was, it was one of the, it was one of my most fun games I've ever played in Fortnite. It was, it was a blast. So um, I end up having a, a really good game here. Some things just kind of unfold, and then uh, the end of the game as well. I end up having the best shot I've ever had in the game. Now the shot I end up taking, I'm fully aware that <laughs> people who are really, really good at Fortnite, they have shots like this all the time. I'm I'm not, I just play for fun, but I end up having um, a pretty sweet shot, and uh, we'll just kind of see that too. So, all right, basically in this game, just to kind of start it off here, and we're going to fast forward through a lot of this, so I'll just give you kind of an overview. Um, so the bus is basically coming down through here, and as it's coming in, I noticed this area up here, and I never go up to this area. Um, and I've been to the fort a couple times, but I just decided like, eh, you know what, let's just go ahead and go, and just start the game from here and just see what it how it unfolds so all that really happens uh, here in the fort is I go through um, I get my loadout I get all my stuff the thing that I do not get though is there are no shields I open up like seven chests no shields none laying around so basically from here um, I end up leaving here and I come down to sweaty sands and so th that's kind of just sort of the first five minutes of the game is just that's all that's happening and when I get to sweaty sands there's nobody there that I see there ends up being one other person but I don't see this person um, at all we never run into each other and uh, so we'll go ahead and just kind of fast forward to there alrighty guys so now I finally make the circle get behind this tree um, the guy I'd seen earlier or I hadn't seen him but the guy who was in there earlier He's really not even near me at this point. He's already kind of booking it to the next next circle. Now, th this is what's kind of key. Um, you know, when you're playing is always pull up your map and figure out not just where the closest circle is um, for you to get to, but figure out where in the next circle is the best place for you to go. So that's what I'm doing at this point is, you know, I pulled up my map. I'm looking at it and where I was trying to get to was right here. Because what I do not want to do is basically have to cut through Salty Springs, get into the water, get into the island. Because anyone who's basically already there, they're going to see me coming. Because there's basically no cover on the island at this point because of the Storm King and, and all that. So the it doesn't make sense for me to try to come down here because I figure I'm going to run into more people. Or they're at least going to see me trying to come in So because of where the bus was. So the best thing I can really do is is try to basically get right up here. Um, and as I'm coming along, I end up seeing a boathouse. And I thought, let me double check and see if there's a boat there. Because if there's a boat, I, I'm going to have to take it because the distance is too great. Sure as the world, I got lucky. There is a boat. Now, I still had two med kits at this point. So I definitely would have made the circle. But this just made more sense. I'm not a fan of getting into boats or any kind of vehicle because they make so much noise and give away your position, but I just didn't have a choice. Uh, it made more sense. Now there's a fight that's taking place um, back here. Um, I'm not sure where those guys are. I don't know whatever happened to them. So we're coming down and kind of get down a little bit further. Yeah, these two guys are fighting one another. And I think I run into this guy later now that I'm thinking about it. I think I take him out. Um, so. I'm coming down and I end up running into a guy right over where I was trying to get to and he takes some sniper shots at me. Um, I thought I had seen movement over there so I thought alright I'll just try to knock down the structure while I still have a little bit of time. And right over here is where this guy is, right there. So he misses that fire the rocket he does a good job in kind of building protect himself now there ends up being <laughs> a guy look at this guy he just flew in from from there now he's trying to get into the boat but he doesn't make it so and I don't even know he's there I didn't even know till I saw the replay um, so now the guy that was shooting at me before now he's shooting at him and I start to come down this way um, but 
I already know that there is a 0% chance that I'm going down the rest of this river to get to the bottom of the waterfall. You never want to do that. If you put yourself at the bottom of this gorge, you're a dead man. Um, there's just nothing you're going to do because you're going to have too many guys right above you and it's just a matter of time before you get taken out. So, I know this, so I go ahead and what I want to do is actually build not build but um to get up and to move up the mountain here and so that's what i'm doing so start moving up and i'm confident i'm gonna run into somebody up here but i haven't run into anybody yet and so when i hit basically this ridge i look up at the top i'm like okay that's where i want to go it's i want to get to the basically the top of this peak it's still in the circle plus i see the big bush up here and you know i like getting into the, um, uh, the big bushes simply because you can look out. Um, they're fantastic. I, I, it's like my favorite addition to the game based on the way I play. So right over here, there's a guy who sees me. And he's actually a pretty fair distance away. It's Blueberry. And so Blueberry's right there. He sees me and takes shots. Now I try to make it look like I'm going down the other side because I wasn't sure what angle he was at if he was up here. Um, but there he is. So now he's running over to me. Now here's what I know. I, I know guaranteed this guy is coming exactly to where I am because it's the only thing that makes sense because I, I know where the circle is, you know, I know that he would already be in it, but if he's taking shots at me, he's giving away his position, he's going to be coming right up to me. So it's like, all right, well, I'm just, I'm in an elevated position against him. I've got, you know, a ton of advantage at the moment. So let's just get out the rocket launcher, let's take the first shot, and then we'll just kind of see what happens. So, sure as the world, here he comes. I see him coming. Fire the rocket, pull out the shotgun, get him down right there. So, take him out. Now, here's the thing. I know that there is no way that anybody else who's over on this side is not going to hear those shots and is not going to come up. There might even be somebody, you know, down over here. Um, so... Guess what? Sure as the world, this guy's coming and this guy's coming. Now, I don't hear this guy, but I obviously hear this guy. So I say to myself, all right, let's just do it again. Um, another rocket, shotgun. Let's just get this guy down. Do that. Take him out right there. Now, I'm oblivious to this guy. I didn't know. Now, this ends up being Soul Panther. And <laughs> this is one of the best parts about this game. Is kind of kind of what happens here with Soul Panther. So we're gonna kind of watch it from a couple different angles so you can kind of see everything that happens. But all that happens right here is I still don't have any extra shield. Um, um, so I swap out my green tack for the blue tack here. Take that. I do some damage to Soul Panther right there. He immediately builds up. I come around the back, build up. I see him right there. I try to get a shot. Don't get it. He builds back up. I mean, he's basically gone. And so now what I say to myself is, okay, this guy's building way up. And I know that I've already hit him. Um, I didn't know how much damage I had done to him. So it's like, all right, let's just knock this, this structure down. Because this guy's building at a decent enough level that I should be able to do some damage. So when I do that, all of a sudden here comes Gasp. Gaspy TTY. Whatever. I'm going to call him Gasp T. So anyway, or Gatsby, let's just call him that. So, he's coming up, and he's actually taking shots. And he's taking shots, and he's shooting at Soul Panther. So I go ahead and knock that down. I don't do any damage at all, because he had, he had built down. And so, th this is what I say to myself, is like, okay, I'm the kind of player that just looks for the advantage. And the advantage that I have at the moment is the fact that... I have another guy who's coming into the fight. Soul Panther over here is now kind of basically caught in between. He's pinched. So if an opportunity presents itself, I'm going to go ahead and kind of take a shot. But I know that this guy's building a structure. I can't get to him immediately. I don't know exactly where the other guy is who's coming in. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to wait. I'm just going to sit here. I'm just going to wait until an opportunity presents itself. And my whole theory right now as I'm kind of watching this fight unfold, as he's chucking a bunch of grenades, is the fact that these two are going to be fighting one another. 
and we're going to kind of put it on them uh, in a second. Um, but as they're going to fight one another, it's like, I'm just going to wait until there's one person left. And then whoever's the winner of the fight, I'm just going to take them out. It'll be real simple. I mean, I don't... <laughs> that way... Because I'm not trying to play to get the most kills. I'm trying to play to get to the win. So my advantage at the moment is let these two fight and then just clean up the rest. So the other advantage I've got at the moment is neither of these two now know where I'm at. Like, it's almost like Soul Panther completely forgot I was here. All right, so we're gonna switch back to him. So Panther does a really good job right here because he was real low on uh, health. So he jumps out, grabs the bandages. The guy above him, Gatsby, he sees this. So he comes over. He's trying to he's trying to get him. This guy heals up. Now the whole time that this is happening, I'm just sitting in the bush, kind of watching this, kind of show you from my perspective. So, guys, I'm just sitting here, and it's just like, all right, I'll just wait. No point in me rushing. I'm gonna watch these two fight. I know one guy's damaged, he's healing up. Now, I mean, right here, I have a great opportunity to take a shot at this guy, but here's what I know. He's he's probably at 200 health, and he's not focused on me. The moment, I, I'm kind of using him to <laughs> attack Panther. There, there, you know, there's just no point, there's no advantage in me taking this shot in this guy. Now, right there was key. There was a, a sniper shot that came in from um, right across the gorge. So I could tell where that shot came from. And so it's like, all right, put that in the memory bank because that's going to be critical because I know that there's somebody who's right over there. So I'm still just watching, still just watching, watching these two. Now, this is actually Soul Panther who's worked his way over to the other side. So we're going to go back to him. So here he is. And we're on his gameplay here. So he's building down, and Gatsby ends up putting down some traps. Soul Panther says, nah fam, I, I'm, you're not the only one who can put down traps. So they get into a quick scuffle, both take damage, they're both into their health now. He builds up, he comes around the corner, Gatsby's able to get out of that real quick. So he, he drops down. And that's the end. So right there. So now this is where it's just kind of <laughs> this. The guys this is just funny more than anything else. So let's put it back on me. So I watch that unfold. I see him go down. He runs around the corner. Nah, fam. <laughs> no one's gonna be e boating right now. If anyone does, it's not gonna be you. It's gonna be me. So I had three people watching me at that <laughs> at that point. So it was just like. Tada! Don't you realize you were fighting me earlier? I never went away. So, <laughs> thanks, thank you, Gatsby. Thank you, Soul Panther, for getting into that fight. It just made my job so much easier for what I was doing. So, okay, at this point now, what I'm doing is I'm looking for the guy who was basically over on this side, and I know that there was someone who was used the sniper rifle earlier, shooting across the gorge. So that's who I'm looking for. Now it turns out that it's a guy over on the other side named It's Rafa, and we're down to five players at this point. If you look at the map, um, three of them aren't even in range of me at this point. Now I'm a, unaware of this, so I, I have no idea. The only thing I know at the moment is I have a ton of advantage. I have two main reasons I have a big advantage over every other player. is the fact that I'm in an elevated position, and I'm right next to the circle. Now, the other players could be in the circle. I, I'm unaware of that, but what I know for a fact is I'm at basically the highest point right now. So I'm able to kind of survey and gather a ton of information. So that's why I'm in no rush to jump you know, out of this bush, run anywhere else, because there's no advantage in me doing that. It's like, okay, just sit here. Let's try to figure out where everybody is and go from there. So that's just basically kind of what happens at this point. I'm just looking, I'm just looking. And the kill feed was kind of coming up at this point, and you know, I'm seeing these guys on the other side, and I don't hear any gunshots or anything. So, what that's telling me is all right, at least one person is basically over, you know, way past the circle because I don't even hear gunshots, and I'm seeing that people are going down. So, still just surveying, I'm still looking, I'm still focused basically over where it's Rafa. Now, the whole reason I don't see him is simply because of this. 
So why don't I see it's Rafa? It's because he's also in his own bush over here. So he's just kind of looking out. He's doing the exact same thing that I'm doing. He's taking advantage of everything. He's just kind of looking. He thought he saw some movement over there. There wasn't anybody there. And at this point, we're actually down to three people, if I remember correctly. And so he sees movement over here. So now he knows there's somebody. So that's where his focus is. But this is where, this is how I know that this guy's a good player. He figured out by looking and seeing where the structure is and where it's being built. And he knows that there's three people left. So he knows where one person is. So he's no longer focused on that person. Brilliant. That's a great move because he knows there's one person unaccounted for who's me. And that's who he's looking for. He knows that this guy's over here, so he doesn't want to lose track of him, but he's still trying to look to find the last guy. Only reason he doesn't see me is because I'm basically on my own bush over on the top of the hill, over on the other side. So he keeps looking over here. He knows that this guy's basically going to have to kind of run right in front of him over here. And we're just going to kind of keep watching from his perspective because Rafa ends up having a really, really good shot on this guy in the open field. But... He's still just focused. Now, he's unaware that I'm basically sitting up there, but I've actually already moved down, and I'm right behind this rock right over here. He doesn't see me. I stay hidden, and I'm just doing the same thing. I'm just looking. I'm just looking, and then I see the structure the same time Rafa does. So I'm looking at it. I see this guy in the field myself. We're looking from his perspective, but I see the guy at the same time, and it's like, okay, I know where that guy is, so where's the other guy? That's who I'm still looking for. So Rafa has a great shot. Boom, gets him down, takes him out. I know now where Rafa is. At least I know the general area. I still can't see into the bush here, but it's now heads up at this point. So it's like, perfect. I'm in an elevated position. I'm across the gorge. This guy is where I know uh, he is, and I know it's the same guy who took a shot earlier. So this is the guy. I know where he's at. It's like perfect so we're gonna kind of see it from Rafa's perspective here now what he's unaware of is I'm basically over here you will kind of see me in the distance here in a second and he just doesn't see me right there that is me over on the other side that is where I'm at so I'm hightailing it down and where I'm trying to get to is basically right here and he just doesn't see me. What he's doing is he's looking down in the bottom. Just guys, don't ever put yourself at the bottom. If you can be in an elevated position, just don't ever do it. So this guy's looking, we're gonna put it back on me. All right, so here I am. I'm back over on the other side. I know where this guy is. I'm trying to just wait to see movement. I don't need to kind of move from where I'm at. Um, so I'm just kind of angling, boom, there it is. So I see the movement, I see where this guy is, I try to line up a shot, I see the guy sneak over here, and guys, for me, this is the best shot I've ever had in Fortnite. Because of the distance of this shot, um, this guy was at full health, he was at full shield. There's my shot. I end up getting a headshot right there and take the guy out and I was in such stunned disbelief that I got a headshot <laughs> based on where he was I didn't even emote <laughs> which I always emote anytime I win and like no I just it's like wait a minute what the game's slowing down 250 never expected to get that shot it was the best shot I've, I've ever had this guy played fantastically I mean he just did I mean, he did everything really well. This guy, obviously, I mean, he plays a little bit like me just because he's not building a structure. He's not giving away his position. He's taking advantage of, of um, you know, his position. You know, he's using the bushes. I mean, he's doing so many good, good things. And I just end up getting just the best shot I ever had in the game. So, guys, again, it's not like this is a model game or anything like that. It's, it's not like the greatest game that has ever been had in Fortnite. It's just like one of the best games I ever had. And I know that's not the greatest shot of all time. I'm shooting at a stationary object. I get it. But for me, I was just so excited because it was just, man, it was such a great shot to be able to get a headshot. Like hitting someone at that distance. I, I mean, I, I've done that. that. That's somewhat easy to do. But to win the game at that distance on a headshot with a green sniper rifle, 
it was just absolutely it was just the best shot I ever had so anyway guys um, that's gonna do it for me thanks so much for checking out this video uh, I do appreciate it so I'm hoping to put up some more stuff just cuz I like doing it I know nobody watches my stuff that's okay it's more for me to kind of watch years from now when I can say like oh yeah I remember when I used to be okay at that game but anyway guys thanks so much for watching and uh, we will see you next time see ya